if you were going to examine a child very young, what would be a tip off the kids not seeing at all? Well, if a child doesn't look at the mother's face when he's feeding, or doesn't pay attention to anything, or when the mother puts the bottle near the child's mouth and the child does not go for it and grab for it, there's a possibility that the child might have a visual issue. Um, it, it, certainly, it's very difficult to evaluate children at, um, at, at below one month of age because typically their, their attention is pretty limited. Um, m parents, usually the mother will kind of suspect something's wrong when the, pa when the, when the child has no um, type of recognition of the mother's face. Is there anything you would see in the eye from the distance or give you a hint? Maybe there was some concern of the vision? Any, any movements of the eyes or anything? Well, there's a number of different things that you would, would possibly lead you to believe that the child has a visual issue. Certainly nystagmus is one of them. Nystagmus is a shaking of the eye. If a child has very, very poor vision, they will develop nystagmus, a deprivational nystagmus, because no vision is coming in and the child is not focusing the image on the macula. So the eyes will, sh the eyes will shake. You can see nystagmus actually in a child with albinism and their vision might, they might not be blind, but their best visual acuity might only be 2200. You can also see other things that might, might lead you to believe that the child can't see, such as a white pupil or a cataract obstructing the visual axis.